Good morning guys, today I'm going to be filming a kind of clean girl routine and like reset routine video Kind of also combined with the pamper routine, like just all the routines in one video Yesterday I went to a Jays game and I am obsessed with Jays games If you guys follow me on Instagram, I mean ever since I started dating my boyfriend and he's a baseball player I went to my first Jays game and now I'm just obsessed, they're so fun But I went with my two friends, I'm on Chloe, but it was so hot outside 31 degrees Celsius, felt like 34, it was so sunny, we were waiting in a line for an hour because it was was a jersey giveaway day so we waited out in the sun for like an hour and everyone was sweaty and so hot so you could say that i was sweating a fair bit now i'm actually just looking to do my whole clean girl routine i am going to waterloo for the weekend i just want to feel all clean i need to do my nails i need to clean my space i need to shower because i still haven't showered from yesterday and if you guys knew what i smelled like yesterday honestly you'd probably unsubscribe i'm so excited for this video and let's get right on into it the absolute first thing i need to do is take care of this room. <gasps> what? I personally don't know what got into me this week. My room is basically never this dirty, but this is what we're working with. I simply can't get through my day unless my room is clean. Like my bed isn't even made. But it's also because I've been waking up a little bit earlier, so I have a little bit more time to make my bed. I just came home so late last night. I came home at like 12-ish. I didn't feel like cleaning up, so today is going to be a reset cleaning day. I also have laundry to do, so I feel like I should put that in, and then I'm going to clean my room, and then I can move on to my actual self. The things I've been listening to lately are Benson Boone. I feel like no one is talking about him, but his music is so good. He just released an album called Pulse, and I really like that. And also, the song Vicious by Thomas Day. My Spotify is linked down below. I'm just gonna get to clean it. This is the Blue Jays jersey that we won yesterday because we were one of the first 15,000 fans in the stadium. I think it's so cute, but it does smell vile. which is an absolute must, is showering. This is actually going to be like an everything shower. I, ah, ooh. I wash my face with the, the use, this Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Extra Gentle Face Wash Cleanser. Okay, this cleanser for some reason has been the only cleanser that doesn't make me break out. Um, I think it's because it's for sensitive skin. I'm going to, let me also show you my shampoo and conditioner. Welcome to my shower. <laughs> I actually got sent this shampoo and conditioner. This one is the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Hydrating Conditioner. I just love Pacifica right now. This is not sponsored. It's looking sponsored, but it's not. Another thing that I learned that apparently is really not good for you is using loofahs like this. I used to use loofahs to wash my body all the time. Now, I actually use this brush brush but this brush gets everywhere and apparently doesn't hold bacteria as much as lupus i wash my body with the native coconut and vanilla scent i always try to say flavor i actually have two of them and then i'm going to shave with my joy razor that is a really good amazon razor i will link it down below sometimes i also use this little head massager thing to really get the shampoo in there Thank you. 
to mention that I have been using for the past couple of weeks. I used to have the worst razor burn and razor bumps. I had to stop shaving at one point because it was just like it was better to have a lot of hair there than to have all the bumps there. Like it was so irritating and red and itchy. I just didn't want to wear tight clothes and it was really uncomfortable and I feel like that is never talked about. I saw an ad for the Bush Balm Ingrown Hair Oil. This stuff I think has actually helped my razor burn so much. I barely get it anymore. I can literally put this on my bikini line, under my arms, my legs, anywhere. I'm not sponsored by it, but I just want to say if you have ingrown hairs or any shaving problems, definitely suggest this guy. I will link it down below. And my hair is, I feel like, so much healthier. I definitely don't dry it all the way. I dry it to, like, say, 60% and then I let the rest dry on its own. I always use a leave-in conditioner because I do have dyed blonde hair. Now I'm going to move on to skincare. I love looking like I just dipped my face in a bunch of oil. I actually only use three skincare products in the day and this I feel like is helping my skin so much. This one is the Good All Calming Moisture Serum. I realized that I think I have pretty sensitive skin just because a lot of the times when I put skincare on my face, it starts burning. <coughs> also, I learned a lot of skincare tricks that have just been helping me. I found that when you're putting on moisturizer and when you're washing your face and when you're doing anything skincare-y on your face, avoid touching the corners of your mouth and the corners of your nose, which I just touched, because that is going to transfer bacteria to the rest of your face. I forgot to use my ice roller. Okay, I'm gonna show you that after because like that needs to be included. It's so cute. It's my new favorite thing in the entire world that I own. This is a new product that I have. It's the Elf Holy Hydration Face Cream and it's fragrance free. That was a tongue twister. So little goes a long way. So I'm going to use that much. That might be too much. And I put this on my neck too. And also when I'm doing my skincare, I make sure to like lift up. This is basically like using your fingers as a gua sha. I kind of stopped using my gua sha because I felt like it was really pulling my skin. And this also simulates blood flow in your skin and it just makes it more plump. Oh, I feel so skincare-y. Look how glowing my face is now. I love this. The last step of my skincare routine is sunscreen. And that literally completes my summer skincare routine. I absolutely love my summer makeup routine because it is so much more natural. I always start with moisturizing my lips. This is the Pacifica Glow Baby Complex Lip Balm. So I basically just spot conceal and my skin is still recovering from not taking my makeup off. And the places that I just mostly put it are just around my mouth. But I do definitely put it under my eyes. Oh, and it kind of just depends on the day, but sometimes I'll blend it with a beauty blender. I find when you have a lot of skincare products on, it just blends really well with the natural warmth of your fingers. When you're putting your makeup on, and if you want it to kind of look like a more natural look, obviously just depending on what you're comfortable with, I basically never put concealer or foundation on my forehead anymore. Like just because I feel like I don't really need it and it makes your makeup look a lot more skin like and natural then i'm just using this bahama mama random bronzer that my mom gave me i'm using instead of you know that angled like contour brush that i have i'm using this big elf complexion brush just bronzing up my face really messily i'm so proud of myself i have laid out so many times in my backyard and i haven't gotten burnt also i want you guys to tell me how you're doing comment that down below i'm so curious i feel like i haven't talked talked to you guys like especially in vlog style form in a long time i always do that face when i do my bronzer I'm like and my camera died. So now we're back. I switch back and forth between the Rare Beauty liquid blush and then the RMS Beauty powder blush. It honestly just depends on how much time I have because I feel like it takes longer to blend a liquid product than just like slap this on with a brush on your face. Please let me know if you prefer liquid blushes or powder blushes because I feel like it's an even split when I look on TikTok and when I watch people's makeup routines and even just with my friends like when they're getting ready. A lot of my friends use liquid blush and I'm like, wait, is powder blush like not a thing anymore? because I personally love powder blush. Sometimes I put on my chin. I don't know. <laughs> If you guys look back at my winter makeup, I did primer, foundation, concealer, chiseled cheekbones, clean it up with concealer, powder, everything. And now I'm just using such little products. Something that I do do, which I forgot downstairs in my room. Okay, let me go get it. Something that I actually do now that I don't think I skip on any day. And it's not because I want to mattify my face, but it's because I want to make my pores kind of disappear is powder and do it like right there and then under my eye. Look at this side compared to this side. Like my pores are more visible here, but this one, it just kind of smooths it out. And I'm using the Fit Me powder. Mm -mm -mm. 
<laughs> that is the skin like base makeup all done and basically the last step is just mascara I will curl my lashes and obviously use a lash sensational Maybelline waterproof mascara my planning has been insane lately like I have been going off on my digital planners and speaking of planners I have been getting so many requests to release my digital planners I'm literally so close to being able to do that I just had to do some branding things for my Etsy shop so I'm going to sell them on Etsy and then maybe if they do really well on there then I will open up my own website and do everything myself I just kind of want to see how they perform first I'm so excited for you guys to be able to download them and use them every day here are the lashes now I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows. Now I'm just going to spray NYX Dewy Finish 16 hour makeup setting spray. This one never does me wrong and I'm pretty sure it's a pretty clean product. I'm just going to link everything in the description. Fan it off. This is something I do every like two or three weeks. This is just doing my nails at home. Ever since I stopped getting acrylics on my fingers, this is the thing though. I actually really like it. I love how it's so natural. And also they were just getting very expensive and I did not feel like paying like $50 every three weeks to get my nails done. And now when I have a special event, all I do is just use glue on nails and I can literally buy them for like $10 on Amazon. Just take them off and it doesn't wreck my nail underneath and I don't have to pay to get them taken off. I'm literally just going to paint my natural nails with some gel nail polish these ones are actually pretty clean these are madam glam ones and i'm pretty sure you can get these on amazon so i will link these but i'm going to do this color which is rosy nude i'm also going to do them on my toes but i am not going to show my feet because i don't want to be on wiki feet this light also you can get on amazon i am going to be watching selling sunset while i do that because the new season came out and i'm so excited Okay, so I just finished my nails. Don't actually look too close because I feel like I kind of messed up a bit. But it still looks better than having nothing there. So I'd rather be like a little bit chunky. Now we're going to move on to jewelry. And you guys know this is like my ultimate favorite clean girl thing. Like I feel like skincare and jewelry are what makes me really like the clean girl kind of look. I'm going to show you some of my favorite jewelry pieces. And I need to put jewelry on today. These, where are they? These have been my favorite earrings that I've been wearing nonstop recently. And these are from Every Jewel. They are these kind of braided croissant looking earrings. I think that's what they're called or are they baguette? I actually don't know. I don't know. It's like some type of French bread. I'm gonna call them my French bread earrings. They go with everything. Everything that I'm gonna show you is gold. If you're expecting anything else, I'm so sorry. These are my staple clean girl earrings. I showed these in my last clean girl video and you can get them on Amazon. They are a twist medium sized hoop. Also, I feel like these are basically the four types of main chunky gold hoops that are the basics. Very small braided gold hoop, medium size twist gold hoop. Now we have a small yet chunky regular shiny hoop. And then I have a big shiny gold hoop that is a statement piece and looks so good with summer colors and adds so much to a regular basic outfit. Now we're going to move on to rings. I feel so naked when I don't have rings on my fingers. I'm going to be putting on my everyday rings for you. This first one is a gold and diamond band that I put on my middle finger. Then I actually stack two. I have this beaded one from Missouri, this smaller beaded one from Every Jewels, this new one from Every Jewels. It's also a twisty kind of baguette slash croissant. One of my most meaningful rings ever. This is one that I got from Greece. If you guys watch my Greece vlogs, I got this from my family's favorite jeweler and it's gold and silver. It has Leo's lucky numbers on it in Roman numerals and I always wear it on my pinky. Last but not least, I have another gold dotted ring that I just put on my other middle finger. This is kind of the combination that I have going on. And now I'm not naked, so I won't get demonetized. These are two bracelets that I wear every single day. I love the combination of pearl and gold. I think that looks so clean. And I have this pearl bracelet from Every Jewels with a gold clasp. And the clasps are actually hearts. Also combine that with this chain. It's flat and I love how there's different sizes of loops. Every Jewels has such waterproof, good quality jewelry. Like even when I buy waterproof jewelry from other brands, it never ends up being as waterproof as Every. So I can literally shower with all these necklaces and bracelets on and nothing happens. Their rings 
might be different though. I have this new every necklace. This is one of my favorite green colors. I think this necklace is still available on the website. This is one of my favorite necklaces that I just got and I bought this from, it was basically just a bunch of female owned brands and they were doing little boutiques in one of my buildings at my school. These are real pearls and then it's gold and it has a front clasp. This is such an amazing necklace. It is such good quality. It's not tarnished at all. I'm also currently wearing three of my favorite basic necklaces. This one is a snake chain. It goes with everything. I just kind of add it as an extra chain to layer. Then I have my medical alert necklace. I wear this every single day. I actually got it made for me custom on Etsy. This one is my evil eye necklace, which I got from Greece a couple years ago on a gold chain. One thing that I forgot to mention and I kind of wanted to talk about was scent. So I know there's such a huge trend going around of what perfumes people love and what scents are the most clean girl, whatever makes you smell clean for the whole day, deodorants that work and don't work. I am on this new thing where if I'm going to be home for most of the day and I only have a couple errands to do, I'm not really going to be going to an event or seeing anyone. I try to not wear deodorant and not put scents on. I feel like that's changing your body's natural scent. And I feel like a long time ago, bodies didn't used to smell bad. And once we started adding all of these perfumes, then we started to feel like we needed them. On days where I'm going to be outside and running and stuff like that and going to the gym, I will wear deodorant. But on the days where I'm just at home, I won't. And I feel like it's going to take some time for your body to adjust. But like it's more sustainable. Imagine not needing deodorant on the everyday. The last thing that I feel like we need to cover here is clothes. Our clothes is clothes. There are a couple clean girl clothing items in my closet. I need to show these to you so you can basically make a little list of things that you might want to invest in because these make picking my outfits so much easier. I feel like I'm building a way more sustainable closet now. Now, if I get blood on any of these, we're gonna have a serious problem. This is actually the first thing. This is a romper that I got from White Fox last year, I believe, and it is still one of my favorite pieces of clothing that I own. It is so soft, so flattering. I just feel Feel like I'm wearing pajamas. I love this little collar when I can like unbutton it and have necklaces poke through. This is something that I have worn to three occasions and I just got it recently. This is the Aritzia contour bodysuit in the t-shirt version. I'm pretty sure there's also like a spaghetti strap version and I feel so confident in this. Just hugs your body and I can add accessories. I can add a little white linen long sleeve. I can dress this up or down. It looks so good with gold jewelry. Whenever I don't know what to wear, I can just throw this on and I feel like I look so put together. This is another one of my one piece favorites. Underneath it's a romper so it has Short, so if this were to fly up, you're completely fine. I think this is from Garage. It's like a tennis style dress. It's just so cute. This next outfit, I have these shorts that are like my staple shorts for any event in summer. These are, I think they're like linen -y material. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that at all. They're just not like, this is like very kind of spandexy and shiny. This is more not. <laughs> These are some shorts that I can definitely dress up and then I have this top which is the Babaton contour top from Aritzia and I have worn this so many times parties to a patio for dinner I'm always wearing this top. I also got it in black. I would recommend these so much I don't get yellow pit stains in this. This is not see-through Also something that I would definitely recommend for a clean girl look is getting nipple covers Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm Mm -hmm. These are so much better than sticky bras. I'm wearing these right now and you can't tell that I have anything on. You can wear this for backless tops and they're amazing. So I'm going to link these down below. This one has a stain on it. So I'm just going to cover the stain. But this is a v-neck white shirt. I really don't want you to see the stain. This is a v-neck white ribbed t-shirt from Garage. I love the seamless everything from Garage. If you're shorter, I suggest getting like scoop neck or v-neck types of things because it actually elongates your body. This next thing is my bodysuit. This is a white v-neck bodysuit it's actually really nice quality but i got it at urban planet for like 13 bucks maybe don't wear a bodysuit that's white when you're literally on your period like me don't do what i'm doing once again i'm wearing the nipple covers under this and you literally can't see anything really simple love next one we have is a tank top for me i think i can't really do like the white black beige clean girl colors because i just don't look good in beige and it really does not look good on my skin tone i look so pale when i wear beige now when i wear dark brown like this i love it so those are my three basic colors my camera died again my camera keeps dying i keep replacing the batteries but i've been taking so long filming this video that i've gone through like four batteries the next thing that you're going to need for the summer if you're going to be wearing dresses and rompers and skirts tan shorts and 
black shorts. I have these and these. These are super lightweight. I definitely suggest getting very lightweight ones because you don't want to have a sweaty situation down there. These are both from Amazon. They're really breathable. I will link them. This just came out of the wash, so it's like wet, so I'm not going to try it on. But this is another thing. I got this from Arden. It's like the Rose and Vine collection. Basic white ribbed tops because you can wear them with denim shorts and you can already look clean and put together. I am not going to show you some of my favorite bikinis. Okay, why am I like, can I just adjust the, thank you. These are just amazing. I'm so excited to wear these. I do need to get bottoms that match. I'm also not going to try these on because I remember the last time I tried on a swimsuit in a video, it got demonetized. That is so awkward for me. So this one is a one strap bikini. This is from Airy. This is amazing quality. I love bold, bright pink colors. It gives me Sharpay. We have one of my favorite colors to wear in the summer. This just reminds me of Greece because one, I bought it when I was in Greece and also just reminds me of the blue water. This swimsuit is from Calzedonia. This material is the most stretchy and soft material for a bikini that I have ever felt. The bottoms are amazing too and they're actually pretty good coverage bottoms. This is the next one. This is actually really similar to the blue one. This is from Princess Polly. Unfortunately, the bottoms were really small so I didn't keep those. This one is one of my favorite ones that I own. And this color is just gorgeous. Like it makes my eyes pop and my necklace. The last one is also from Aerie and this one is super flattering too. This one's just a v-neck. It also has this band at the bottom which I love. It has adjustable straps. That is going to be it for my clean girl reset summer routine and i really hope that you guys enjoy and make sure to stick around and subscribe if you like videos like this i am still loving the clean girl trend and i'm trying to continue that into the summer i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye